Okay. We should engage mag boots now, sir. Yes. Yeah. Get into cover, Spock. Hmm. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Got it. Wait for it. Probably a good idea. Go now. Oh. Damn it. I. Oh. Captain, we should stay in cover until it regenerates. Haha. I can tell. He's Kirk. He can. He can take a, a full exposure from the sun. And regenerating health. All right. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Spock. He's getting cooked. All right. It's getting hot out here. I am uncertain how much more exposure our suits can handle. Oh, there's Starfleet suits, they can handle a whole lot. Alright. Alright. Oh, I'm losing. No shit! Yeah, green blooded son of a bitch. Alright. Whose idea was this anyway? I believe it was yours, sir. Right. Oh, that didn't. This doesn't seem good. None at all. Oh, oh crap, 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 oh crap. Again. 
right here. Where do I need to go? What do I need to do? Stop the ring. Spock, shoot the lock. Alright. Another one down. Just one more ring to go. Now let's run around in circles looking for more. Oh, okay. Oh. Space is falling apart. That was tasty. Thank you. Thank you for that game. Spock, you think we can just shoot it open? Let's find that stranded crew. Okay. Come on, come on, come on. You think everybody's gonna die? Hey, Captain, you cannot see some those in physics. What's going on down there, Captain? That was a wake-up call, Mr. Scott. I need you to work a little faster. On it, sir. We should make our way to the transporter, Captain. Oh, after you. <laughs> so, uh, how do you two know each other? We were classmates back on Vulcan. Just classmates. I realize this may be difficult for you to understand, Captain, but on Vulcan, relationships between the sexes do not automatically imply an intimate past. Another reason I'm glad I'm not a Vulcan. Oh, come on. on your law, Captain. Ready and waiting for transport. See? There's always a way. After you, Captain. I will not leave this vessel until my crew is safely out of danger. As a Captain yourself, I'm sure you would do the same. I like this one. There are a few that you do not like, Captain. Oh, burn! Prepare to energize. Thank you. 
Well, they're dead. It doesn't look like it. Run. Fucking run like Keep a bitch, y'all! I do not think this station is salvageable, Captain. Think no so? shit. There is no time to stop. I no, let's stop and smell the fucking flowers. No time to watch the sunset, run! Ah, uh, we get it. It's a dire situation. That was perfect. Got, they couldn't save the ones that flew out of the damn window, but oh, oh, they gotta save Kirk and Spock and the Vulcan captain. She's probably a main character. Chicka wow wow. Are you Hate right, me like calling your Vulcan girl. Definitely better now, thanks. Captain, we have a problem. Another one? What is it, Mr. Chekhov? Nuclear whistles I, off the port bow. I think you need to see for yourself. Tomorrow, a simple solar flare should not have caused the loss of power to your station. Do you know the origin of your vessel's malfunction? It did not malfunction. It was made in China. It didn't appear that way to us. That station was used to harness the energy from the binary stars. However, all of the station's primary controls were operated from a base located on a nearby planet. What planet? We are calling it New Vulcan. Mm -hmm. So it is true. I'm gonna end this off. If you want to see me play more, just say in the comments, the yes or no. So this is that guy on the right signing off. Have a good day. New Vulcan seemed perfect. However, a project of this magnitude would have taken generations to complete. In order to speed up this process, we created a device called the Helios machine. Your station was to harness the energy from the binary stars to power the Helios machine located on New Vulcan. Precisely. Two days ago, and for some unknown reason, the power to our station was shut off. Without power, our station could not withstand the gravitational pull of the stars. What moron would shut down the machine if they knew this would happen? That moron would be Sirach. Never heard of him. Sirach is Tamar's father, and a great mentor to myself and the Vulcan people. Uh, sorry? Why would Sirach shut down power to your station? He must have been aware that doing so would be catastrophic for you and your crew. Unfortunately, the Helios machine may have caused an anomaly. An anomaly? This just keeps getting better. We need to get to the bridge. 